Hello everybody and welcome to the Arctic Reptile Ranch. Today is one of those prefab diet feed days to me. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook and on forums mention how their tortoises don't like to eat hay. And I understand that hay, it has an okay smell but I'm sure it doesn't taste as good. When your tortoises get used to eating the Missouri diet with the molasses in it, the Marion diet and their Zumed diet that have additives meant for flavoring, well, getting them to eat plain old hay, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now, I've seen people recommend a wide variety of things like, well, just don't feed them anything else and after a couple days, they'll eat the hay. That's possible, but they may not. So my recommendation is, if you have tortoises that like this stuff, but don't eat hay, well, combine the two, work together. Now, dry hay, kind of boring, doesn't taste great, but when you take that hay and break it into small chunks, it's really easy, it's really brittle, it breaks really well in your hand, and put it into a bowl of hot water, well, it rehydrates it. And then what I'll do is I'll take this hay and I'll mix it in with the stuff that they love basically the most, the Missouri diet. I mix it into Missouri, and even though some of my tortoises have very dexterous mouths and tongues, I've seen my Galapagos tortoises get a quarter piece of Missouri from the little uh, bark chips in there and, and get what they wanted. And the same thing with my radiated tortoise. He can pick out exactly what he wants everywhere. When you turn this into a mush, and you add the hay, they can be as picky as they want, they're not eating around it. So they definitely go to intake some of the hay, which most of the people that keep tortoises know is really good for its fiber content. Yes, there's fiber additives and all of these things. You'll notice basically uh, better digestive health from your tortoises. Now it might take a day or two, or heck, some tortoises from mouth to butt can take up to two weeks. So you're gonna kinda of have to monitor your tortoises once you start doing something like this to see when they get to that peak health of the digestive consistency. So I'll show you a little close up of how we mix this in and then a couple of the tortoises being tricked into eating their their extra hay here. We're gonna start and focus in on Titan's bowl over here. Titan is the radiated tortoise and he does not like hay. He will do everything he can to eat around hay. He loves Missouri. So just take some of it like this and kind of spread the pieces out here and then getting myself extra messy just mix it in. You're going to want to have some paper towels on hand because it gets on your fingers. It's kind of gooky. It's a little bit uncomfortable if you have fingernails. I don't, but for people that have fingernails, getting this stuff on your nails is kind of gross. Now, obviously, in the Zoomed diet, there is a fair amount of broken down hay and stuff. But when they eat these larger pieces, I, I think it has a better cleaning effect on their digestive system. Now what I've noticed is this Marion diet, when it gets wet, it's not quite as malleable as the Missouri. Missouri is kind of like uh, soft play-doh whereas this crumbles a little bit more so I gotta be careful when I'm mixing it in. And then this stuff I'll just turn into a pile so it's easier for them to eat. Uh, some of my tortoises will scrape the bottom to get to their food. Some of my tortoises like to eat piles. So here on diet day this is what Titan is going to receive to encourage them to eat hay. And for some tortoises, over time, they actually get used to the flavor of hay, and you can start feeding them hay directly. I, my Burmese star tortoises are like that. They'll take it, they prefer it wet, but they'll take it dry. So a little bit of patience and some creativity, and you can have your tortoises eating hay that's pretty good for their diet in no time at all. After about five minutes of mixing foods together, you can see that I've created a rather interesting paste of Missouri and Marion diet. And kept some of the stuff separate. It helps me keep track of who's eating what, what they like. Like for instance, I know my Burmese stars, they really don't care for this canned stuff. But two of my Indian stars do. All of my Redfoots love it, my Galops love it, and so does Titan. So by keeping it, mixing it in, but keeping it separate, it helps me in my future purchases so I know how much of what to buy and how much of what to prepare when it's time for everybody to eat. So now let's go watch some of these guys chow down on this amazing mush. You can clearly see that even though he tries, there's no getting around the hay.
Leopard tortoises are big grass eaters, but sometimes even they don't like hay. But this method here, you can see, works to get them to ingest what I want them to eat. My young male Burmese star tortoise, Mayo, he'll eat hay directly, but this is always a good method. Mara right here, on the other hand, she's really not a fan of hay, but after an initial push to move it out of her way, you'll see that she starts getting a bunch of bits of hay as well. With my Galapagos tortoises, hay has never been an issue. I can ball it up and throw it in there dry and they'll eat it. But I figure feeding them like the rest of everybody else, it's a nice treat and Beagle clearly appreciates it. There's no complaints from Fitz either. When it comes to getting my redfoots to eat hay and grasses and even clovers, I've never had success until I started doing this. And as you can see, Sauron doesn't care. As long as there's Missouri in the bite, he's going to munch and swallow it. Kiwi, the cherry head, she eats everything. Indian star tortoises are also known to be heavy grazers of grasses and weeds. And while Rigel will eat some of the fresh grass that's planted in his cage, he doesn't eat a lot of it. Mixing hay into his Missouri has been a great means to get him to ingest more of this. If you have tortoises that are picky eaters, there's definitely no reason to worry. You don't need to try to change their diet. Just add what you want them to eat to the foods that they're already eating. Now, Andromeda would normally like to thank you for joining the Arctic Reptile Ranch, but as you can see, her cow DNA has taken over, and she'd much rather just eat her hay. So on her behalf and the rest of my tortoises, thank you for watching another video from the Arctic Reptile Ranch.